Hello once again. I'm happy to see you and to share this video reflection for today, Sunday, October the 9th, 2022. We are in the 7th, 18th, sorry, 18th Sunday after Pentecost. And we continue our prayer for all those who are sick, especially today for Bruno Heisen, David McPherson, and Howard Kerr. We continue praying for those in need, the people of Ukraine, and the victims of two terrible hurricanes, Ian and Fiona. We continue praying for those mourning, the families of Janine Richards, and the families of Francois Bibel. And we pray for those who are celebrating birthday this week. Happy birthday, Colleen Melbourne. Isabel Tudor and Father Ferro. The Gospel of today is taken from St. John chapter 6, verses 25 to 35, which is about Jesus, the bread of heaven. Please read the text, uh, which is in closest to this video, to a better understanding. As an introduction, let us say that uh, here in Canada, we are celebrating the Thanksgiving Sunday and tomorrow is the Thanksgiving Day, earlier than the U.S. version, which is three in the third week of November. This is a beautiful time to thank to God for the abundance and generosity of the earth. So, in this context of the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6, 25 to 35, we will focus in three keywords. The first one is bread. The second is hungry, and the third is thirsty. Let us start with bread, which is a very powerful word, heavy in signification in the majority of the cultures and civilizations. The motto of United Nations Organization for Food and Agriculture, FAO, is fiat panis, a mandate to feed humanity a mandate to make bread. At Thanksgiving, we focus on harvest, a harvest of wheat and other cereals, but harvest also is the ending of a cycle of nature. When the soil goes to rest, goes to sleep under the snow, Bread in Latin is panis, and lead us to another wonderful word, companis, which means companion, a great gesture between people to share bread, as Jesus did at the Last Supper, when bread was representing his body. Now, the second word, hungry, hungry. Jesus invites us to share the food that endures for eternal life. That means Jesus himself. At the Eucharistic celebration, we have the opportunity to remember Jesus' only and sufficient sacrifice for our salvation. God provides us our daily bread for our bodies, but also Jesus provides us our daily bread for our spirit and souls. Usually, we eat four times a day. Our bodies send us a message with precision. Now, how many times a day we feel hungry for our spirit and soul? Everybody is different. So, let us think about that. And the third word today is thirsty. The body needs between 3.7 to 2.7 daily fluid intake. We must drink even when we are no thirsty. Water in the Bible means a sacred value of life, but as well means purification, protection, healing, and redemption. Two billion people in the world have no access to drink water at home. Jesus 
asked for water even though Jesus is the fountain of fresh and living water, the water for our spirit, for our soul, and whoever drink it will never be thirsty. Conclusion. We are not camels. They can survive more than two weeks without water, and they can survive more than several months without food. We human, we eat four times a day, and we drink 3.7 to 2.7 liters of liquids. Our dependency shows us how fragile we are. Even from Jesus' prayer, we say, give us this day our daily bread. We are the people of fresh bread. We are the people of fresh water, which is the word of the Lord. We are the followers and companion of Jesus because we are in communion in the breaking of the bread of life. Check for your closest place to you where you can go and eat and drink, never alone, but with others. That is called the Church, the Body of Christ. Amen. See you next Sunday, and have a blessed week, and happy Thanksgiving Day 2022 for Canadians. Bye-bye.